Hey guys, Steve here. Today is January 5th, 2019. Uh, Happy New Year to you guys. I uh, hope you had a good ho holidays and a new year. Um, today we had our January club meet and uh, so I got a lot of stuff to share with you. Mostly Hot Wheels, um, Greenlight and a couple of other other brands, the like Matchbox, etc. So let's get started. Um, first thing I want to share with you guys is the new car culture. This is the Golf Racing, Golf Oil uh, series and it's a very cool um, series that that is just released I actually got this from a, a hobby dealer here uh, or close to the club meet uh, I don't think these as far as I know I don't think these have actually started showing up in retail yet uh, if they have it's very minimal right now so but I was able to get uh, several of these new pieces uh, or at least a set uh, it's a five car set and uh, it's a very nice set so let's go ahead and start with this one. So uh, here we are. Um, it is the golf specific, golf oil specific series. So the car culture. This uh, car number one is the '60s Fiat 500D, uh, and uh, it's a pretty cool piece. Um, I think this might be the second time I think we've seen this casting. So um, these will get open. I did buy a few extras so that I can put in my. Um, of course, my golf case, which is rapidly filling up, so I have to rearrange it. Uh, once I get it rearranged and get some of my new display cases in place, I uh, will do another video with my current uh, collection of my golf oil set. But uh, here's the Fiat. And uh, interesting selection. Um, it is a kind of a cool piece, at least. Uh, it looks like it's the classic Fiat versus the newer ones that you see like in the, the um, Hot Wheels Super Treasure Hunt. Um, this is a lot nicer in my opinion. So, and of course you got the Golf Racing Deco. Um, number five on the side. I'm not sure what you know what how they decide what numbers to put on the side of these. Some of them I think are significant. Some are not. Um, other than it being a Fiat uh, 500. So that's number one. The second one is a '69 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Also a very nice piece. Uh, this is car number two. Of course, on this one, it has this on the side. The side number on this one is a 69, which obviously makes sense. Um, there you go. I do have a lot of golf stuff to share with you today, so bear with me. Um, yeah, good looking piece, I think. Looks like the wing is plastic. But the rest of it, uh, of course, metal base, metal body. Uh, yeah, they did a really nice job on this one, I think. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, uh, we've seen this casting in several times already this year, last year, I should say now, 2018. Uh, new Nissan Laurel 2000 SGX. Orange base, that's kind of cool. <clears throat> so this is car number three. Um, not sure what the significant value, if there is any significant value to the number four on the side of the car. But there you go. Okay. So, they did a nice job on this one as well. Okay. All right. Um... Number five, or excuse me, number four is the Volkswagen Golf Mark 7. Not a bad casting, not my favorite. Um, and particularly, I don't, I don't, I had, these are probably my least favorite rims that they use on these premium stuff. I don't know what they're called, just kind of like the lace rims, if you will. Um, but they're not my favorite. I think they've used this, they've obviously, obviously used this particular rim on several other previous car culture pieces. I know they use it on the Porsche a few times, but um, there you go. It at least it's something different, which is nice to see. So it's the number five, four car, and it has number two on the side. Okay. And then number, uh, number five, uh, probably my favorite, a lot of people's favorite, even over Maybe even over the Laurel and the Mustang, but this is my favorite, uh, the McLaren F1 GTR. 
this is always a cool cast. It's nice to see this one being um, released uh, again. Um, we've seen a couple of these last year. Um, so, but, uh, but it's a really nice casting, and it's always nice to see it not only as this, yeah, this casting period, but this casting as a premium piece. Uh, but they did, I think, a really nice job on this one. Uh, it's got the number three on the side there, and I have a couple. I have a couple of McLarens like this uh, in the darker blue deco here. But yeah, they did a really nice job on this one, I think. So okay. So there you have it. That is the new Car Culture Golf Oil Racing uh, release. Okay. Um, all right. Some other pieces that I have. Hot Wheels continuing. Um, my buddy Ishmael was able to pick this one up. This is, of course, the Datsun Fairlady 2000. And for those who don't know, this is one of the, K the, the most recent K-Day um, exclusive uh, color pieces. So I asked him to pick one up for me since my Kmart here uh, no longer exists. So I wasn't ever able to go to K-Day for the last couple, um, two or three times. But uh, this is one I asked him, asked him to pick, pick up for me. So... I think I have these in my case or somewhere, um, but pretty cool casting, okay? Um, all right, let's talk about supers. Um, actually, this is probably the, um, the one time I've actually picked up most supers in one day. Um, so I have five here to share with you. Um, and with these five, I only have one remaining um, for 2018 that I need to find, and that's the pink pickup. But here we go. This is the B case, 2018 B case, 68 Chevy Nova. Okay. Uh, finally, I was able to get a trade next to my buddy John, uh, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Super. This was E case. Great color. Um, this was P case, the, two, the 1970 Ford Escort RS 1600. A lot of people have found a lot of these. Um, but I have yet, to, I, I'd never found one, but I uh, thanks to Chris, um, he was able to find this for me. So, thank you, Chris. That's, that's, uh, that piece actually looks really, really nice, especially with those wheels. Um, let's see, I got this from William, uh, the Cru Cruella de Vil. This was the Q case, another one I didn't find, I tried. And just so you know, um, there's been a lot of reports, uh, I've seen them, where um, I always check the cards even on the main lines because there's a lot of main lines, apparently, main line cars on super um, super treasure hunt cards. So um, people have found several. There have been many instances that where they've been found. So, okay. And then the last one, also thanks to William, was this one here, 90, the 90 Honda Civic EF Super, which I never found. So, there you go. And this was, was this, oh, this is a 2019 A case. So, new one. Okay. So, the more supers. All right. All right. So, round out the Hot Wheels. Um, here's a piece that I never got a chance. I missed the, the sale. Um, or I did, or the, I didn't miss it. I just didn't get any, have any luck. But this is the, was, this was the, one of the Redline Club uh, offerings. This is the, uh, Hot Wheels exclusive Datsun 240Z from the Redline Club, and this is numbered uh, 3,291 out of 6,500 pieces. Uh, this was one of the sales where I I I tried to get it, but uh, as p those who know the RLC, um, going through the checkout it got screwed up. I couldn't get in, couldn't get access, or I got stuck in the checkout, so I missed that on it. Um, so, but I was able to get this one from my buddy Ken. So thank you, Ken, on on getting one for me. I finally have one. So nice to have that one. Okay. And the last hot wheel I have for you guys is this piece. This is a piece that um, I had been monitoring. So there's a clothing line called Period Correct, and I had no, I had, um, I had saw an ad or somebody shared an ad for um, period correct on Instagram and they had shared that they're doing a that they were getting together they were getting together with Hot Wheels Mattel to come up with a period correct um, branded 
uh, Mercedes 190E Evo. And um, they, you know, just like a regular RLC, they were doing a, um, a sale on a specific day on a Saturday at noon. And uh, as soon as it went just as fast as our RLC, RLC sale, as soon as you got in, you know, the, basically they sold out in like five minutes or something crazy like that. Uh, my understanding, I'm not sure, it doesn't, these aren't numbered, but my understanding is I think these are limited to, limited to something like 700 pieces. But there it is. This is the Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.516. Um, one of my, um, one of my favorite castings that I like um, lately. Um, we've had a couple of um, car culture pieces like this, as you've seen before. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I was able to, to track one down from my buddy Kent. Um, from a club, so he hooked him hooked me up, um, but this is a really cool piece um, But there it is very very 80s deco as you can see So and of course it's based off the 190 the other 190 casting so they did a really nice job on this one um, These are going for crazy money on eBay um, uh, Hopefully they'll come down a little bit, uh, but when these went when these went on sale they were obviously immediately showing up on ebay and they were showing up for something like 100 to 200 bucks a piece um which is insane i won't uh, i don't think i would ever pay that much for a car let alone an exclusive car but uh, hopefully they'll come down in price and i can get another one but we'll see all right so moving on to green light real quick uh so i picked up some more green lights today as well um let's talk about this one here so this is a green light piece. This is a 143rd. It, I think it's a hobby exclusive piece because I don't and I don't think we'll see this in stores. This is a Porsche, a Golf Porsche 917K, um, which this is from the Steve McQueen collection, as you can see here. And uh, there it is. And the cool thing about this one is it's got a little little um, emblem here, little um, seal there. I don't know if you can see it, but it says uh, Steve McQueen. Um, includes 143rd figure, and then, so it does come with a figure there. Let's see if we can show it off a little easier. There you go. That's kind of cool. So I'll probably open this up and put this in my case as well once I can figure out some room. But uh, pretty cool piece. Okay. Um, another couple other golf pieces. Uh, got the Giant Lighten. Actually, let's do the Green Lighten first. So the green light um, was able to pick this up from I think it was who was this from Tim. Um, this is an older one. It's a um, uh, green light Motor World. Uh, see Speed Series. Uh, 2009 2010 time frame. So pretty old. Uh, this is a Lamborghini Gallardo uh, green machine. So and are these numbered? I don't think these are numbered. Typically, the Motorola stuff line is not numbered, but there you go. Okay. All right. Uh, and the last piece, green light piece, I want to share with you is a hobby exclusive. This is pretty cool. Um, let's see if I can. But this is. I'm gonna have to back up here. This is one of the new garages. This is a uh, Tamiho exclusive. Um, it's the uh, Mechanics Corner BRE Weekend Workshop. So it's a BRE branded garage set. Okay. So that's kind of what it looks like. The back door opens there. So now I have something to display some of my BRE. I, I honestly will probably display my Hot Wheels BREs, a couple of them that I have, and this versus any versus a green light or an M2 BRE. But we'll see. You know, it kind of depends on the scale too. But uh, let's see if we can take this out. There you go. So it's cool. Let's take the, this piece out. So, of course, here he goes. Got the, the garage. They lift up there. Slide in. It's got the double garage there. Break it here. Okay, and then the uh, actual wall here comes out. Looks like it comes with some stickers. Yes. Or, oh, it's already... Okay, it's already stuck, so... It's got the wall on this is the inside wall, I assume yeah, inside the wall and then the back wall. So you can have different I guess different ways to display it. And then uh 
I guess this kind of slides in here, I'm guessing. Let's see. Oh, okay. There you go. It's pretty cool. And then, uh, see, let's show you what the inside looks like here in a second. So, can you see on the inside? So, it's a basically open garage bay with um, two boxes on the left hand side here. Um, got some logo stuff on the side here, Goodyear. So, very nice piece. Uh, I have to see if I can find some pictures of what the green machine version looks like. But, uh, this is a very nice piece. I just gotta find space for it. Okay. So that is the BRE Garage. Let's put that back in here for now. All right. Um, okay, put this to the side for a minute. There we go. All right. So a couple of the other pieces I have here are... These are new pieces, giant, I think they're new. So we've got a couple Johnny Lightning Golf pieces. This is a Johnny Lightning Golf uh, GMC CCKW 2.5 ton uh, 6x6 tanker. Uh, it's one of 1,416 pieces. Mm, pretty low number, actually. I'll decide if I want to open that or not. I'll probably will open it. Um, and another one is uh, another Johnny Lightning. Uh, this is a 63 Chevy Corvette Grand Sport, hobby exclusive. Actually, they're both hobby exclusives. Uh, one of 3,000. Okay. All right, so I got a lot of golf pieces there. All right. As we wrap up, uh, let me show you a um, Matchbox piece, and then we'll show you one other piece after that. So I finally found uh, the following. I think I found this at Walmart. This is the new Matchbox 85 Porsche 911 Rally. So there it is. And then I had to, of course, I had to do a quick a quick custom. Uh, and it's not that fancy, but uh, I wanted to put uh, off-road real riders on it. Let's see if I can get the thing to focus here. Come on, focus. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Let's try this side. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Anyway, there you go. So I put the off-road tire um, wheels on there, real riders on there. Did a little painting and some, try to do a little uh, detail in there, and uh, there it is. So I don't know why the why it's not focusing here. There you go. Oh, that's better. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So I'm just playing around. I'll put in that in the case, but uh, there you go. That's the new 911 off-road. He's trying to give a little off-road characteristics in there. Okay? All right. <laughs> All right. Last piece. Um, I had shared this a long time ago. This is probably about when I first started doing videos. Um, this is a, an older piece. This is a... Um, uh, it's a... What is this? This is a Jada Toys. It's a... Um, I believe it's a hobby exclusive. Yeah, it's a hobby... It's a hobby exclusive. I believe it is. It was originally um, offered um, of all places, Disney World, I believe. Um, this is, of course, a Camaro. Uh, it is a do -do -do, 69 Camaro. And as you can see, it's all chrome. I need to clean it up a little bit. It's been sitting in my case, but even so, it's got a little little um, marks in there. But very cool piece. So, um, And I don't even remember. I think I bought this from a club member a while ago. So... Uh, and I've had that in my display case. Well, I've also picked up kind of a very similar piece today from my buddy Mitch. Uh, this is the 67 Shelby GT500 Mustang. So it's same, um, 
same line. I don't know if there's any other lines like this, all chrome, but uh, this is it. Uh, this is the big time muscle. And uh, let's see if we can open this up real quick to show you. Um, I've been I've been eyeing this every time I go to um, Mrs. Shop, um, and I finally decided to go ahead and spring for it. So let's see if this just pops up. Um, let's see if I can pop this open. Oh, here you go. So it's easy. There you go. So there's the there's the Mustang version of it. So let me know what you think. Um, pretty cool pieces. I like them. Um, it's 124 scale, so it's a little bit smaller. It's, I usually when I collect the bigger stuff, I usually collect the 118 stuff. But uh, uh, these two particular two, two particular pieces, uh, you know, I, I really wanted to get in my collection. So there you go. So I think they did a nice job on these. Um, I don't know what uh, these are limited to. Two. Here's the. Let's see if I can show you the inside. Yeah, Shelby. Of course, the. Uh, uh, doors open as well. Let's see if I can get you a picture of the entire interior here. Got the Shelby floor mats in there. And of course, the back and oh, back is supposed to open up there. Come on, get out of there. So the back end opens up, doesn't open up real well, and then of course the driver's side. So there you go. That's my new 124th edition. Um, so that'll go somewhere in one if I can find room somewhere in my larger cases up the top there uh, with the Camaro. So there you go. All right. Um, I think that's all I have to share with you finally. So um, until then, happy hunting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.